Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 at Game of Thrones. Today we're finally going to get married. Uh, and to, speaking of marriage, I actually want to just consider this. We would get an alliance with the Lannisters, although they only have 1,700 soldiers. But Helen here, she is Amazonian, which I, I do really want. And we're Herculean. So there's a strong chance of our children being Herculean and Amazonian. And I really do want that because we need to keep the prowess up. So I think I will go ahead with this marriage. In fact, she's 50. She's almost of age as well. So let's go ahead and unpause the game. Not yet, actually. One more thing. <laughs> because we're an adult, we've unlocked the sway scheme. And oh boy, do we need it. I think to begin with, let's go ahead and sway Ashara. She's the only one that somewhat likes me at the moment. So if I could just sway her a little bit and get her opinion up. Uh, and then we can start working on everyone else it's gonna take a while but that's fine it's already down to 191 uh, you guys absolutely uh let's just say part 21 was like marmite some of you loved it and some of you hated it <laughs> uh, apparently i wasn't compassionate enough but all i have to say is Ulrich wouldn't have spared all of those traitors lives uh, and good old lord felix here did so i'm standing by my decision which is kind of lucky because i guess I, i'm the one playing uh, i've become the new dynasty head as well that's very useful Never mind, we are no longer the dynasty head. Now, one of you also said we should found a holy order, which I agree with. However, we need to be a kingdom, which we're going to get onto in just a second. What's of this? My vassal Lord Hugh has proven himself highly capable, especially in administrative matters. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the Lordship of Carrion Heights, my liege. With your blessing, of course. Do you know what, Lord Hugh? Take the reins. Uh, he gains 20 opinion of me uh, a little bit. He, he still hates me, of course, but it's a little bit less, a little bit less. I wish this could go past minus 100 so we could actually see what the running total is. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. The tyranny will go. It's absolutely fine. What was I speaking of just now? I've completely forgotten. Already we've been sidetracked. Oh, dear. We were, we were talking about something and then something about Marmite something over this uh, it, it's gone it's escaped me ashara has discovered a spy amya was caught searching for secrets in the darkest corner amya what are you doing who sent you amya refuses to expose who is spying on you how do you want to proceed with the traitor uh, i wish to be merciful the thing is i mean i could just banish her instead i think banishment in the last one if I upload it, because uh, my hay fever was really getting to me in the last one. Uh, in the last one, we were merciful to these guys. But I actually think banishment is better. We don't take their lives. But they're, they're allowed to... We still punish them. Because we can't let crimes go unpunished either. That's not compassionate. That's just stupid, I feel like. It began as an occasional treat, an unusual habit. But I'm a good stone Dornish. And what stone Dornish hasn't eaten some dodgy herring in his time? Over the last few weeks, though, Paxter's predilection for utterly rotten fish has gone from tolerable idiosyncrasy to a pungent omnipresent oh we got the smelly fish event again my nephew and captain he likes the smelly fish does he now because we're honest we would lose stress so we should pick this one uh, sit down Pax. Now we need to have a talk oh he's in incredibly it's insulted and now he loses another 40 opinion so he's probably uh near a minus 300 or something like this by this point it's absolutely fine though things are going to work out it's all absolutely fine one of you said i should have a decision to invite people of my faith as well but i don't think i do i can invite a mountain specialist and that's about it lord desmond has created his own cadet branch wow okay so if you guys have any cadet branch name recommendations uh, and banners here he, he does have the elbow so maybe he why has he renamed himself to Herbswood though? That's a terrible name, Desmond. <laughs> you guys need to give me a name suggestion as well. I'm gonna go ahead and change that. But back to the point of earlier. I can recruit a mountain specialist. But I don't believe there there's I can invite claimants. Claimants are summoned to visit my court. Are these guys of my faith? Let's see. In order to extend my realm, I must have valid claims on foreign land. Luckily for me, there are many claimants out there who would be willing to become my vassals in return for military support. Let's send the Herald. Maybe that's the decision you guys meant. Uh, and if that's the one, then uh, I'm definitely down for that. Because we do need some more people of my faith to join my realm. Also, please stop bullying my nose. 
<laughs> there was a few comments about that as well. Right, another thing I noticed before I started recording. My current heir, my sister, she, she stole Harren Hall from me. We will want it back at one point. Her heir is actually Hightower. So the Hightowers are going to take control of Harren Hall, which is unfortunate. Not a day passes by without my Bishop Adela making a mockery of me during her sermons. That obsessed Bampot is certain that I am an agent of the Great Other and will not rest until she has turned the peasantry against me. Ah, oh, we're compassionate though. I think a, a small donations will help calm her down and hopefully ease her opinion penalty a bit. It's still minus 100. It's, gonna, it's okay, guys. One or two episodes, we'll be back to normal. And then all of you who said my save's about to end, they're going to be proven wrong. Felix, my dear friend, I was once again reminded of your victory against Finian. Who is Finian? Ah, okay. So you're one of the people uh, I sent to take the black. Because I'm compassionate. Uh, so I decided to write a poem about your triumph, Ursula says, clearing her throat. Let's see, what's the poem? Through conflict brings wrath to all someday. Tis this man's sword that holds death at bay. His subjects prove grateful, for if they are not, they'll learn how it is. Is an empire is wrought. I like that poem, actually. That sums up recent events very well. Only Roller deserves such praises. Hmm. Uh, thank you, my friend, but I will keep the poem close. In fact, that's a new artifact as well. So what do we do we have here? Prestige and Prestige per Dread. You're giving me Prestige and Renown. I like Prestige and Renown, though. I think there's actually... We need to go ahead and repair this one. Oh, 13 gold. Wait. Conflict and Wrath. It's right here. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and repair that. It's only 38 gold. Right, that's all looking fine and dandy. I can declare wars. What's this? Uh, but first, we're going to a feat in Carrion Hall. There we go. Look, he doesn't have minus 100. Already we're doing okay. It'll be my pleasure. I can declare wars on sandstone and brimstone. We can probably do that today, actually. Every guest is gathered in the Great Hall, and our gracious host, Lord Hugh, has welcomed us all to the feast. I look forward to this. Hopefully, it's a good feast. Where, where was it? Carrion Heights is like somewhere up here, I think, right? I wasn't too far off. It's up here. We take a look at the feast. Who, who has uh, attended the feast with me? A lot of enemies. That's fine. We have a lot of enemies for now. The Lord of Light will guide me. What started as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one thanks to the presence of Lord Hugh. We spoke all evening about all manner of subjects. And as things would have it, we seem to have a lot in common. I had such a good time with him. What a good evening. Look at that. We grow closer to forming a friendship. We haven't become friends, though, but we're, we're closer to becoming friends. That's what matters. We could all tell Lord Hugh had too much to drink, even though he insisted on showing us how sober he was. Simply rising from his seat proved too much for him, and now I am covered in stinking vomit. Oh, no. Because I'm a craven, I gain stress, so we should probably pick this one. Ha <laughs> ha! What a show you pull on, Lord Hugh. Yeah, it's going to stress me out a little bit, because I am covered in your vomit, but... Uh, what's, a, what's a feast of our little drunken fun? What a feast! I remember the days spent in Lord Hughes for, for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine and once more resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Farewell, my vassal. Now, what kind of intrigue options do I have access to? I think I only have access to murder because I'm not intrigue focused, am I? I'm martial focused, which maybe uh, we have nine martial. Maybe we should go learning focus at this point, though. Or maybe even diplom diplomacy focus, because we need to... We really need to focus on our diplomacy. That could be an idea, actually. Let's go ahead and deal with this first. I am sparring with one of my soldiers, sweat beading on my forehead, when I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched. Looking over my shoulder, I spot my marshal, Lord John, eyeing me, while nonchalantly swinging his spear back and forth. My lord! John's words boom across the law courtyard. Would you not prefer to test your skills against me instead? I'm a craven, so probably not. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd rather not, Lord John. We all know you're the Bella fighter. <laughs> I mean, I have amazing prowess. It's just that I'm craven, so we'll, we're going to try and play to our traits as always. Lucas, a hedge knight, has arrived at my court. He has requested permission to rest at my keep for a short while before he resumes his travels. In return, he has offered me his service for the duration of his step chart. An extra pair of hands would surely be useful. I'm not going to read through all the Hedge Knight stuff again. Let's go ahead and see how he develops 
Oh, 12 martial, not too bad. Only a dutiful captain, though. Let's see. And he's a skilled fighter. Only 10 prowess. Let's see. And he's got some more traits there. Should I ask him to join my court? He hates me a little less than minus 100, which is always going to be useful, isn't it? Although, hmm, the thing is, I feel like we could always do a champions because I feel like we could be betrayed at any moment. I'm going to ask him to join my court and now he definitely hates us. Okay, <laughs> I guess that's when the tyranny takes effect. It's fine. It'll all work out. I can marry my wife. We should probably do that. Yes, let's go ahead and send the proposal. Oh, I remembered what I was going to talk about at the beginning of the episode now. Excellent stuff. We're going to marry. Because we are now following the Lord of Light. And because we want to found a holy order, which requires a kingdom. My liege is belongs to the seven. Oh, it's a he. Oh, yeah. Lord Paramount Halden now because Yinis died, didn't she? She died in her sleep. No. She died under mysterious circumstances, even. So there might be some murder going on here. Uh, they haven't asked me to convert my religion yet. However, we can't adopt it either. Oh, we can adopt it. I don't want to, though. Uh, my father was chosen by the Lord of Light, and so I shall continue his legacy. I think we're going to try and gain independence. Because we no longer want to belong to the faith of the seven. Ulrich, my father, was loyal to Nimrod's Dane, But I don't have to have the same goals. And that's one thing that cropped up in the comments as well. Is that my goals have changed. Usually my goals change when I change character. Uh, instead of having a, a goal for the overall series. I just like to play each character. Uh, and that way we get loads of fun stories like we have been. With my marriage to Lady Helen. The realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. Do you know what? Who pays for their own wedding? <laughs> also, my wife, you can't be wearing... Oh, okay, you're ill. You're a mayor trainee. Helen has been trained in the art of city management. Okay. Huh, I haven't seen that before, I don't think. That's cool. And she's a diplomat. We should... Dip diplomacy as our second highest stat right now. I mean, I'm probably going to want to put her on managed domain anyway because it gets us an extra domain. But for me, I'm really considering... Yeah, we don't have any traits yet. I might swap over to diplomacy. Oh, I can't swap yet. Ah, damn it. That's rather unfortunate. Um, how do I see how long my cooldown is? 8369. We're in 8365. Okay, so another four years, and then we can go ahead and do that. I mean, the one benefit, I guess, is we can get Stolot Leader, and then we can swap over to Diplomacy. That's fine. That's the new plan, right? My wife is ill, so when she's not ill, we'll, we'll see how that's doing. We could continue swaying my Spy Master, or. Yeah, when we finish swaying her, let's try and seduce my wife. Because we need children. And I am homosexual, so I don't know if... I don't know how common it will be for us to actually have children naturally. I can also have a concubine. No, I can't. There we go. My wife is finally wearing proper clothes. All is working itself out. Do not worry. <laughs> let's improve the men at arms as well. We're definitely going to need those, aren't we? Well, we'll get the armored footmen uh, increased. And I should probably get rid of two of my domains. My dear brother, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Liberty War. Ooh, what? 4,000 men? 5,000? 4,000? She needs my help. My sister. Do you know what? I will accept this. You may have took Harren Hall from me as a kid, but we are now allies. And I respect my alliances. We have to show that we respect these such agreements otherwise my vassals will never follow me in fact flexible leader rough terrain expert i could lead the mem do i want to though do you know what i need to show my men that to follow me is to follow the lord of light and with the lord of light we are unbeatable i'm going to lead the armies <laughs> oh dear this is risky it's fine uh, it's all part of the law let's go ahead and make our way north we need to go ahead and help my my dear sister here hopefully she doesn't enter any battles by herself uh, before i arrive 
that would absolutely suck. What we're going to do is probably just sit here uh, and then we'll help her as well. I finished reading the latest letter from my half-sister Ashara and smile. She seems to have warmed to me at last. While this is a success, I am tempted to use this opportunity to try and get even closer. John, time to put my diplomatic skills to the test. I want to be a diplomat. Oh, she's insulted. I'm not a very good diplomat, guys. Oh, dear. Uh, that's going to take 16 months. In that case, let's just abandon this for now. Uh, and I'm going to go back to seducing my wife. Oh, I can demand her conversion as well. Let's demand conversion because then that's probably going to... That's going to increase our chances of having a child, one would assume. Your grandparent was Sandor? Wait. My children are going to be descendants? Of the hound? Oh boy. That's spicy. That's incredible. And he died at age 69. <laughs> Maturity. Uh, Helen converted to the faith of Roller. My wife has converted to my faith. We are now uh, in ties with the Clegane's even. That's insane. We need a new Castellan vote. Someone with good diplomacy ideally like master anton you hate me maybe i should give it to lord robo actually uh the Arons. let's go ahead and assign him why don't you hate me as much because we're knights received county plus 120 okay that's probably why because we gave him a lot of land we're gonna put you on diplomacy that should help us just a tad there you go look she likes me my wife likes me we're, we're doing okay we're in debt though that's not good that's fine we're oh dear no we're not gonna get out of debt let's go ahead and organize army uh we're just gonna have to deal with that because uh we're helping my half sister how long is it gonna take us to get up there where are we oh we're only over here right now that's a long way to harren hall isn't it in fact oh i couldn't raise my men here because it's not my lands anymore of course we lost them to my sister and now we're help oh look at this we got like uh three weirwood trees here uh, which is incredible. By the way, I learned something. If I hold middle mouse button and move... Okay, I was going to say it's a little less choppy. Okay, no, it is less choppy than using the, the WASD keys. Right, we're almost arrived to help my dear sister. What's popping up here? Uh, fate smiles upon me. My wife, Lady Helen, is bearing my ch child. I cannot wait to hold the baby in my arms. Right, so that's going to be nine months. This is going to take 13 months. That's good. So we could line up a second child straight afterwards. That's a... Uh, that's what you call efficiency. <laughs> you don't see it often on the channel, but today we might witness some. Are you going to attack my sister? They might do, you know. They might. I'm going to make my way up to Milkstone. And we've unlocked the Marshall perk now. That's good. Let's go ahead and get this. This reduces the risk where we're going to die right now. And then what I also need to do... Is it 8369? It's 8366. Okay. So we can't quite change yet. Oh, my sister's being pursued. We need to go and help her. Hopefully we make it in time. Because she is outnumbered heavily at the moment. In fact, we might not even make it. I think we just made it. With my mind set on a relaxing evening, I am heading for my sister, Arabella's chambers, with some wine and a chest set. Without knocking, I push her door open. What do you mean? I'm, I'm all the way up in Harrenhal, leading an army. You look familiar. I've been watching Vikings recently, and she kind of looks like a character, but I'm not sure which one. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining things. Maybe I just recognize her from the last recording. That's probably it. Arabella is seated by her desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, she jumps out of her skin. She quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into her pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy look upon her face. Oh, dear. I mean, she likes me. Uh, she wouldn't be betraying me, would she? My, my dear sister hmm i could return later well, i could respect her privacy do you know what i'm going to respect her privacy i have no reason to distrust her she never uh, betrayed me up until master sand nor imprisoned lord roba oh dear where are you my counselor how did we do in the fight first though look at that lord cletus and lord ambrose they both have lands already doing uh, a formidable job in fact incredible job and their best champion perished in the war so we managed to kill three six of their champions oh i lost my my ca my castellan we're gonna need someone new right 
Uh, unfortunately, these options all hate me. Master Anton is going to have to be my hand until I have a son, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and put you uh, on this one. Hopefully, we don't get murdered or anything soon. You're going to take that back. I'm going to go siege their castle, my sister. Uh, you work on that and we work on this. We won the law war led by Lady Lyria of Harrenhal against Lord Florian of Milk. So, so be it. There we go. Now the men. We led our armies. And now... We know that the, the men of the realm know that we can be trusted. My sister can marry. The problem is, if I marry for alliance here, I don't get the alliance, right? I don't think so. This is in Carrion Heights. I could marry this way. But they're related. Yeah, we don't get any alliance. So, hmm. What if I go matrilineal and we try to spread the faith a little bit? We could do that. You guys are related, though. So you're going to be related as well, right? And everyone else is older and wrinkly. We want someone at least close to her age. All but Dane. I mean, they're definitely going to be related. I guess we have no option. Would the Lord of Light smile upon such a decision? I'm unsure. Or we could marry for traits. We need some more Amazonian or, or Herculean guys here so we go matrilineal and then maybe i sort by prowess look at this guy amory storm mantalon he's seven years old he's a stormer he's herculean and he's got how much prowess 12 prowess already he's a bastard though hmm maybe this guy the the tudbury's the the, the great and powerful turtle house let's go ahead and marry them off they will accept uh, which is nice and helpful there. She's going to have to wait a little bit, though, because he's only five years old. That's fine. The Wint Brooch has low durability. Is that something I have equipped? It's not. In fact, I could go ahead and gift this stuff away. So I could go ahead and gift the Wint Brooch away from some to someone. Let's see. My Bishop, possibly. My Chancellor. I want my Chancellor to like me. I want my Castellan to like me as well. But don't we... Have you been released yet? You haven't. Okay. Maybe my Chancellor, because you're very good and I'm going to need you. I'm going to gift you an artifact. Sell you an artifact. No. I'm going to gift you an artifact so you like me. Uh, and we're going to pick the Wint Brooch. Let's see. And he's going to gain five opinion of me. It's not that much, but it's something. What else can we give away to him? We have Depressed Orchard. Let's go ahead and give him this as well then. It's nice that uh, we can use this. Uh, he's going to accept that. You have already sent a gift. Oh, okay. There's no point sending you more than one. Okay, my steward. <laughs> Would you like a, an artifact? I'm going to give you a pressed orchard. Uh, and you're going to like me a little bit more. There we go. All of these little opinion modifiers will add up eventually. What else do I have to give away? A beautiful wooden warrior. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and give you that one. I'm sure he'll like that very much he gains one opinion on me oh dear that, it's better than nothing right and then my bishop i mean before we gift her anything though we need to check i'm gonna give you the penury and torrentine actually i might give that to you because you might appreciate that one a little bit more just because it's of our homeland so let's go ahead and give her that nine opinion there we go very nice okay artifacts are given let's go ahead and unpause i need to find someone to give away my two extra lands to to the thoughtful felix i gladly accept your betrothal proposition your sister sorella would be betrothed to my grandson jerry and excellent stuff i'm happy to hear you agree we gain 120 gold as well let's go back on train commanders i can declare wars i'm not endorsed by my bishop oh, uh it's a little bit of a struggle so if i was going to give lands away i want to keep starfall for myself even though these uh, smaller holdings I would rather them just because it's in star four as we said before it, I feel like it just fits the the role play a little bit right so one of you said today if I go to my dynasty tree you guys try to find closely related males which we don't have any and give them land you're a high tower do I have any uncles alive still uh, I don't, but I do have some cousins. So that's my tree, right? Yeah, that's my tree. 
Lord Cletus already has land. Feodun went to the to the wall. You're 14, you're 12. One of you also said, why don't I give land to children? Um, I'd rather give land to adults. I don't trust children with land. What we're going to do, we're going to keep these lands until we find someone suitable. We'll check every 5, 10 years or something. I've been made aware that Lady Helen is very close to her Uncle Mern. Gaining his favour might help me catch Helen's attention. Do you know what? I could help pay off his... Uh, I'm not, no, we'll, we'll, we'll just try and seduce her naturally. With delegation from Dawnbrink slowly files out of my private chambers. Our long meeting finally over. The petitioners beg for money to repair the crumbling rules of the holding. And I've invoked my lordly duty to help them. I drum my fingers on the table pondering whether to send them funds. Good fortifications are hideously expensive. Of course. If the walls are crumbling away, then I should always divert their existing stipend to more personal matters. We can't afford it. My money is for me. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit weaker. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we're not earning too much gold. In fact, that could... Uh, it might solve, though, when we get rid of the negative 40%. My half-sister has given birth to a daughter... Nicolette there. Let's see, what should we call her? She is of our faith as well. I'm going to call her... Um, let's see, a good Dornish. Do you know what? Ah, that's Ancestor. We can't pick a name after the faith, can we? Let's go ahead and call her Amya Dane. There we go. So she's going to be able to... In fact, we have to give her an education and whatnot because she's in my court. My counsellor died from smallpox. Do I have smallpox? A shower has discovered a spy Aaron. Oh, more spies. <laughs> Aaron, you're my admiral, but I'm going to banish you. If you spy on me, then you must leave. And now we're going to need a new admiral and a new marshal. Oh, dear. You're very good at marshal, though. Let's go ahead and pick you. Uh, and then as for an admiral, someone with good stewardship. You're my captain. Lucas, who are we? You're going to become my admiral. No, I like your armor as well. That's looking... Mighty fine. To the beguiling Felix, it is my duty to inform you that the irrefutable evidence has been unveiled, proving that your marriage with Lady Helen is consanguineous in nature. This information will stay between the two of us if you end this unholy union at once. Wait, what? Wait, incestuous? She's not my... She's... <laughs> what? Parents... Everspoon, Lannister. What, what? You're lying. That's pure lies. To lie about such a thing, I was set her straight. Yes. She, she's... I success, successfully argued for the... Okay, we managed to persuade her. Wow. My bishop is... Can I replace you? I can't. She hates me. And now she's trying to spread incest secrets. Oh, dear. We're going to have to remember that in future. How's the faith looking? Yeah, the faith is still going strong. And we've had a son. Ulrich Dane. After my father. Yes, may you grow to be strong and wise, my son Ulrich. And look at that. He's Herculean. Oh, oh, oh boy. So we need to find you a good education. We will need you to be martial focused. Now, if I go ahead and educate you... I probably want the person to educate you to also be the person who you squire for in the future. So let's find someone who's a knight. Uh, and we also need them to be a, a brilliant general. And then if we sort by prowess. Let's see, what traits do I have? We have honest, that's good. So we need like brave and just, most likely. So we have a, a few brave knights here. Do we have any brave and just? We have Lord Jeremy. The problem here, though, is Lord Jeremy... Oh, what have I done here? No, I... Uh, I don't want to do this. Lord Jeremy... There we go, I misclicked. Oh, he doesn't have any wards anymore. Right. I think he could be a very good... Ca He's 49. Let's go ahead and pin him. Oh, you're already pinned, I think. Can I... Not offer you a squire. Offer you a ward. My player Aaron's son. He would accept. Oh, 
Yeah, Lord Jeremy is here. Okay, my son, you're going to wield Dawn. I am certain of it. I'm certain, absolutely certain. Everything's falling into place now. To the benign Felix, we are happy to accept your proposed education arrangement. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Excellent. Look at that as well, by the way. He's a baby and he has 12 prowess. <laughs> absolutely mental stuff. Uh, and you're going to be martial focused as well. Jeremy, what's your learning? You have 11 learning, 24... Do you know what? I think this could be a very, very good arrangement for us. In fact, we might finally find a Dane to finally wield Dawn. It's been a long and hard struggle, but we're getting closer. How long until I can seduce my... Nine months. Okay, that lines up nicely. So hopefully we can have a second child just in case. You haven't fallen ill or anything, have you? You haven't. I should go ahead and pin all the as well. Amir Dane hates me. Oh, because of the tyranny. How? She's a baby. Ulrich likes me though because he left my court that's probably why uh, the celebrations had come to an end and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Lady Helen suggested a reading a clerk soon arrives wondering what the guests would like to hear and I see my chance to impress Helen oh what does she like Do you know, I think something pious about the Lord of Light as the clerk reads for us Helen seemed completely engrossed she later approaches me good choice Felix she says and brushes off her flat it was great wasn't it there we go Converting to the Lord of Light, Light was a good decision. We're earning more gold now as well, which is nice. So something has changed here. Shara has discovered a spot. Arak, my captain. Everyone's spying on me. We're going to banish him as well. We're going to run out. In fact, we need to invite captains. Did claimants no one join? I didn't see anything pop up. If I go courtiers and I sort by guest... We only have two guests, I think. Right? Yeah, we only have two guests. So you're a hail man, uh, which is a congenital trait. Okay. Uh, and you, you're an outstanding diplomat. Let's see. If I were to recruit you 85 gold for... And we already have a diplomat who's a powerful vassal. He's not a powerful vassal, in fact. I lie. But the, the, the difference isn't too big in a way. So that's fine. Yet no one has showed up at all. Any claimant of my faith. So uh, I guess we're, we're stuck to our own devices. A captain has arrived. Bernard has heeded my summons. He's... Oh, he's a craven, though. He is a formidable fighter, however. If I were to recruit you, let's just test. Would you then convert to my faith? Demand conversion, he will not accept. Minus 100 because of his opinion of me. Yeah, that's the, the tyranny there. But he is terrified of me. Is everyone terrified of me because of my tyranny? Or is that a dread thing? I think that might be a dread thing, right? Yeah, none of these guys are terrified of me. Just this guy because he's a craven, I think. Okay, right. I think that's going to be it for today's episode. So we finally had a son and heir. Look at that. Very strong. He's got a nice, good educator now as well. Uh, who he will also squire for. Hopefully he lives long enough because he is 49 years of age. He's a giant and he's burned. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, but hopefully my son can one day wield dawn. We've been waiting many, many episodes. Many generations. Uh, but Ulrich Dane here. Ulrich the second. It's going to wield dawn but that's it for today guys if you liked the video then please consider liking uh, pressing the like button to help with the algorithm but i'll see you next time